They couldn't figure out how to make it work with the camera. No, you mean the acoustic piano? Acoustic piano. That's what he just told me. You mean, no, it was a size thing. It was a size thing. Because it's standard. We have. Thank <laughs> you. 
This one. It is. I think so. This one did.
fire, fire, fire. Thank you all. Listen, we're thrilled to be here tonight to pay honor to a man we all adore and love. He's a musical legend. He's an icon. From big band to jazz, from jazz to fusion to hip hop to rap, it really doesn't matter. This guy can do it all. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome to our little jazz club. I am thrilled to be here tonight to have the honor of honoring someone we love and adore. From big band to jazz, from jazz to fusion, to rap, to hip hop, to television, to publishing, Quincy Jones has done it all. I say, ladies and gentlemen, Quincy Jones. Seems to make sense, doesn't it? Just trying. Key. Turn it up. host for an evening in which we will honor a musical legend and an icon from big band to jazz from jazz to fusion from fusion to hip-hop to rap to television to film to publishing Quincy Jones has done it all ladies and gentlemen mr. Quincy Jones <laughs> wonderful to have you here. I couldn't be more thrilled. You have done what we all want to do. You spent your entire life doing what you love. You have yada yada yada. We're gonna do that again. That means you go back. <laughs> we'll start it again. Good evening, everyone. It is my great pleasure and thrill to interview Quincy Jones tonight. He's a music legend. He is an icon. From big band to jazz to fusion to rap to hip hop to television, film, publishing, he has done it all. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Quincy Jones. <laughs>
spent so many years doing what you love, decades in this business, doing what most of us wish we could do, what drives you? <laughs> Think of something. <laughs> well, a lot of things. A lot of things drive me over the last years. Uh, uh, different musicians. Uh, Okay, 10 minutes later. <laughs> 10 minutes later. 10 minutes later. Uh, we will be, do you want me just Wally to go to the next, to the, we're going to talk about the young people he has mentored. We're going to try to get all that in in 10 minutes, which is not going to happen. So then, at some point, I'm going to go to um, this other wonderful thing, which is a wonderful clip about a Pimala Trumpet, but I'm going to wait until they tell us when to do that, and then we'll talk about mm -hmm. that. So you say you went to Carbondale? Yep. Southern oh. Illinois University, Carbondale. Did you grow up around there? Or did you grow up in Chicago? I grew up in Chicago. Hmm? Grew up in Chicago. Wait a second. Someone's talking to me. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing all of that. Am I supposed to just hear? <coughs> Okay. Up in uh, Harvey, Illinois, somewhere right outside of Chicago. Oh, really? Why'd you go downstate? Well, it was a couple of stops before I went downstate, but they had one of the better programs in the, in the country, so I wanted to go there. Where, where were the other stops? Youngstown, Ohio. Ooh, Chicago for a little true. while, so. Definitely different. Yeah. You notice this person who's clapping no longer is in Youngstown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thankful that they made it out of Youngstown, probably. <laughs> So you skipped over Youngstown, then what? Well, then I went to Carbondale and then um, came here for a job. I've been here for like the last... So you're here in D.C.? Mm -hmm. Ah. For the last six months. So what are you doing in D.C.? Work at XM Satellite Radio. Six whole months, huh? Yes. That has, that's felt like a long time ago. <laughs> you can feel it sometimes, too. Well, D.C. is great. Yeah. It is great. I like Chicago, though. I don't know you Chicago people. Are you serious? I don't know you Chicago people. You're also protected. City. I, I, I it's, it's, a great, it's a great city. Like, sure. it's people in Atlanta love Atlanta. Yeah, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I know, I have, I have, I'm not from D.C., but I've lived here longer than any place, so I might as well understand that before. I'm also, you know, there's no place that lets me be the kind of political junkie I am any place else. Like, I kind of have to be here. <laughs> so, what is the first time you ever heard of Quincy Jones? Oh, I heard Quincy Jones um, many times growing up. We, me and my brothers, we play music. Um, my brother's a jazz musician. Oh, you play music? Mm -hmm. I just play music. Nah, <laughs> but we do that too. Um, what do you listen. play? I play keyboard, play guitar. Really? Y'all hear that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you put yourself out there now. Yeah, but uh, we've been playing production standpoint. He's just been one of those people that you you just admire because he composed so many great things and he worked with so many great people. And um,